You know, most of the players in the 1995 NHL draft either had very, very good careers, but maybe didn't reach expectations. But this player kind of is on defense because a two-decade career in pro hockey, which include uh, 10 years in the NHL, the AHL, uh, Europe, and uh, some of the best, uh, what do you call, it, Tier 2 pro leagues in Canada and North America is uh, a career that needs to be re recognized and saluted. So today we're going to be talking about the probably the best francophone name player of his era, Benoit Graton. Now, Benoit Jacques-Joseph Graton, born December 26, 1976, was a 5 foot 11 uh, center that uh, uh, hailed from Montreal, uh, Quebec. Now, uh, he has held numerous duties in hockey, most recently a head coach of the Jean-Pierre Marquet of the uh, North American Hockey League, or LNH. Now, he was born again in Montreal. As a youth, he played in the 89 and 90 Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournaments with a minor hockey team from Laval. Now, he came to a major prominence with the Laval regions of the QM AAA in 1993, then graduated to the Q with the Laval Titan, then the Laval Titan College Francais, and then eventually with the Grand Bay Predators in the second half of the 96 season. And that year, of course, uh, Grand Bay had a great year. They uh, made uh, the Memorial Cup Finals and, and uh, won. Now, we came to major prominence through the scouts of the Washington Capitals. And like I said, in 95, it was his draft year with Laval Titan. He had 88 points that year uh, in the regular season, 29 in the playoffs. Taken the 105th overall, uh, and uh, there was some talk that he was going to be a big part of their rebuilding uh, phase of the late 90s. He was sent to the Portland Pirates in the 97 season, the AHL, 46 points in 76 games, played six games with the Capitals that year. Now, 99, uh, after a year in Portland, he eventually made it back to the Capitals, uh, had four goals and three assists in 16 games. Now, this is where it gets weird, ladies and gentlemen. He became kind of a, a have, a have stick will travel. He went back to Portland for a majority of the 99 season, then he played a full year with the St. John Flames, getting 66 points in 65 games, and had two games with Calgary that year in 10 contests. Second year with uh, St. John, he had 46 points in 53 games, very good playmaker that season, and four points with Calgary. Now, Montreal decided to take a chance on him. Uh, he ended up with the franchise in 2002. He scored his uh, first goal with Montreal that year in eight games, but played the majority of the season with the Quebec Citadels with 29 points in 35 games. Now, 03 and 04, he uh, was mostly in the AHL with their affiliate in Hamilton, but he got called back up to Montreal for four games with one assist in the 2004 season. Now, in 2005, he, he found himself in... Uh, in Europe, he played with H.C. Logano in 05, the Hamburg Freezers between 06 and 07. Then the, <clears throat> there were well-respected Vienna Capitals over six seasons from 09 to uh, 14. Now, uh, after sitting out the 2015 season, he made his return to semi-pro hockey in the Quebec base, like I said, North American Hockey League with Jean Kerr. Now, he played two seasons there upon uh, announcing his retirement. Uh, following uh, the 2007 uh, campaign. And, of course, he became head coach. Now, as a Jean Kier, uh, he put up some really nice numbers in 63 points, 63 games over two regular seasons. He had 28 goals and 94 points, including an additional 20 points in 20 playoff games. So, final NHL totals, uh, 16 points in 58 games. Now, he made the AHL All-Star uh, team in 2001 in uh, 2004, again, for his overall uh, great uh, two-way play uh, in the AHL. And he was also the MVP of the EBHL in 2011, where he put up 73 points in 45 regular season games. And uh, that was, again, 2011. So, Benoit Grato, uh, like I said, a very capable player, a good mind for hockey. My friends in the media at Quebec said, uh, you know, he's, he's very good to talk hockey with because he's seen and played with some of the best uh, uh, teams and players of his era. And, uh, you know, I thought he would uh, really break through with Calgary because he seemed uh, to fit in their system, but 
sometimes it doesn't occur. But uh, I think his biggest regret, uh, a lot of people have talked about that, he never had a chance to play an NHL playoff uh, game because he uh, he put up some really decent uh, playoff numbers, especially with Hamilton in 03, where he had 17 points in 22, 22 uh, uh, postseason uh, uh, games. Now, and uh, but that uh, Memorial Cup there, uh, you know, that year where Grand Bay uh, broke through, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a legacy. He's a, he's a folk hero in Quebec because no matter where he went, people uh, knew that he was ready to play. And of course, playing with the Citadels and playing in Austria with some of the four managers, he's made a lot of friends in the sport, and those uh, friendships continue to benefit uh, everybody he uh, deals with, uh, you know, or coaches or. Uh, you know, uh, he's, he mentors, because I heard he's very good with everybody. That's, I can only tell you what I hear. Have a good day. Bye.